<laughs> wow! That has always been one of my favourite waltzes. And you can't come to South Pier and not do break dance. <laughs> Yes, welcome back to the channel and to another vlog. We are in our very hometown of Blackpool here on South Pier to show you this summer's lineup, this summer's ride avail availability, and to show you the brand new ride that appeared this year on the pier. But before we do all that, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. It's completely free to do so by pressing the subs by pressing the subscribe button just below and even the notification bell as well if you want to know when our videos come out on YouTube. Follow us also on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, which all the links can be found in the description below. We'll take you for that very important tour and on some rides as well, but before we do that as well, I am with the channel's number one. We are with Theo. Hi. Theo, South Pier. We're back. We're back again. Do you know what? We don't come on here as often as we used to, do we? Do you remember the live streams that we used to do? Yeah. Crazy, weren't they? You, you, what are you doing? Yes, of course, if you're familiar to our channel, you know we did a vlog here last year, the year before that, and the year before that, and just after lockdown, we also did a lot of live streams on here. Do check out one of those live streams because they are so funny to do. It's been a while, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for live streams, so I'll consider it, I will think about it. Maybe a live stream back on here. Also, Theo as well, last year, completed the uh, bungee, which is still here by the way. Um, there was reports of that going, but it's still here, which is good, because they've had some improvements to it. So I reckon that's gonna stay here for a few more years. What are you excited about doing today on the pier? Money. Looking for money? What? Money! Did you can see money? Oh yeah. 20p. <laughs> don't don't drop your money on the pier. Don't drop your phone. These gaps are quite big, actually. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, we've got a new ride to ride on here today. What ride is it? Oh, I probably didn't even tell you that. It's like a super bob, but it's not a super bob. It's really? Music Express. Really? Yeah. We have done a Music Express this year already. We did one in Mendes, didn't we? In Scotland. So we've got one to compare to, but also we can compare it to the super bob that used to be on here many years ago. And that super bob is. Kent, you know Kent Super Bob? Yeah. That used to be on here back in the 90s, noughties. I'm not too sure exactly when it was here. And it used to be called Roller Bob. And it used to be over there. And that's now traveling with Kent. If you know, you know. Well, you don't know, now you do. I take you for a tour and show you what is on this pier for 2023. Let's start with this. Obviously this came and debuted on the pier last year. This is a cliffhanger that came from uh, the Tuckers. And now Tuckers have got the third Gen cliffhanger. Uh, so they have now got that cliffhanger. And Gen 1 is traveling with Carousel, which is currently, or right now whilst we're filming this, it's currently in Manchester, uh, or Wivenshaw Park, I think it's that. Uh, but Carousel also travel around as well. And they have 
uh, cliffhanger one. Now, of course, you may be wondering where Hard Rock went. That went last year. That is still, or that is now traveling and traveling the Northeast. We did see it at Rainton Arena up in Newcastle Way uh, last year, but we didn't get time to ride it because it closed. But it was nice to see Hard Rock. Do you miss Hard Rock? Now, the thing with Hard Rock, that was Theo's first Miami, and he could be 1.1 to do it. Can you be 1.1 to do this one? Let me find out. It is, yeah, 1.1. So if you're 1.1 meter, you can do this supervised. Uh, 1.2 to do it unsupervised. The, the, the ride heights are quite fair on here. And surprising, I'll, I'll show you the hide right for uh, reverse bungee as well. We have got a carousel. Sorry, galloper. Now you'll notice as well, the layout has changed. This has moved here. SeaWorld that used to be here. Uh, it's no longer here, maybe on the other pier, I'm not sure, but SeaWorld's no longer here. The Galloper that used to be over there has moved over here. They've had a bit of a move around. Uh, SeaWorld, it was like a formula ride. Do you remember? No. It was blue and it went round. Oh, no. uh, yeah. Yeah? Remember now? Yeah. Yeah, everything else is the same. So I think they've lost one juvenile and gained the main ride, which you'll see in a moment. We have got a mini Miami here. I'll show you the price into these rides in a moment as well. Just to the right of Breakdance, we'll show you Breakdance in a moment as well. We have got an inflatable just over here. It's a big inflatable slide. And as already mentioned, this is Breakdance. This Breakdance ride's been here for a number of years. And it's one of those that can elevate. Whether we see it elevate is um, a different story because I don't think there's any benefit to the elevation on these. You can't quite see the elevation. Vicky only does it at night. I prefer it when it doesn't do it because there's more force in the ride when it's not elevated. Uh, this is a 1.2 ride, so quite fair to do this one. Really good breakdance ride, and people do compare it to the Huss model, which is currently now in South Wales. Um, I don't think there's any way of comparing them. I mean, they don't have brakes on the actual cars themselves on these, or not on this particular one anyway. But the, the speed that this can go at night, and I say at night because I think they go faster at night, it's really good. It's a really good ride, these, and definitely worth the four tickets uh, that, uh, that, that they charge on here. Now, ride prices are basically, every ride is £1.10, or every ticket is £1.10. If you buy a bundle, it's £30 for 30 tickets. So £4 for the breakdance is actually really good, because that breakdance is quite good. Now, they also, as well, do do repeat rides on here. Now, I'm just literally saying it as he said it on there. On that, to stay on it, you just pay two tickets. So you can stay on the ride when it's quiet for just two tickets. So repeat rides are, uh, are two tickets. I forgot they did that, but it just came into my head as he said it. Anyway, that's great, Dan. It's quite a good ride. We'll take you on that after. Uh, we have got a little swing set here. We have got the Sky Coaster, of course. This dominates the skyline of Blackpool South alongside the big one, just in the background of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I have not done this before. I'm sure you know what it does, you just get, it's like a big swing, isn't it? Yeah. Like I said, I've never done that before. I do want to do it. Theo, would you do it? It's quite daunting, isn't it? You said to me, though, when we walked here, he was walking here, your nose okay? It's quite sore, isn't it? When we, when we came here, when we was walking here, I said to you, would you do the sky uh, the sky coaster? And he said, no, it's boring. How, how can he so can he say it's boring and then say you don't want to do it? Is it you don't do it because it's boring? Yeah. Behave. I've never done it, so I don't know. But the uh, the uh, quite high actually. I, I will do it one day. I'll do it one day. Carrying on with the tour, we've got some tea cups here. Delta Skelter, uh, that was actually over there last year. Dodgems, I've done this live a few times. Doing this live is quite fun actually. No, not many people going on them though, so it's probably not likely to be a dodging battle. We have got uh, the, the Walzer. This is Hellraiser, now I must say, hey, I must say, this is one of the best waltzers you can do. I'm going to 
just say in the UK. Although I've not done every waltzer in the UK, I've done a lot of waltzes up north and some in the central and southern region. You can't beat this thing. Of course, you can compare it to Atmosphere Curator, which I have said is one of the best waltzes, but only when it's in Hull. This is always good every time you come here. It is a three hill, but look at how steep those hills are. 100% be going on that after. It'll be nice when they get that done. I'm told, I've been told this a few times now. I could go on that, 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 that That's gonna, what? I could go on that by myself. You're not though, come on with me. <laughs> um, they've been telling me that this is gonna get done one day and, it, and it's still not done. It'll be good if they get the rounding boards done on it. I don't know what the plan is if I'm honest with you. We have got new for 2023, a ride that isn't very common in the UK, a Music Express. Now looking at it you might think that's a Super Bob, it's nothing like a Super Bob. There's a what at the back? There. there is. Very well pointed, Theo. There is a third hill, and if you can just make out, it's really high up. So it's three hills. Where Super Bob is two hills, the Music Express is three. I like the jukebox right in the middle. How cool does that look? Even so, look at the 3D rounding boards. That is absolutely amazing. I think it's got the car on the side as well. Can we have a look? I'm sure there's a car on the side. Yeah. There's not one on the back though. Looks quite fast actually. Definitely be taking you on that. And, and, and I have done a Music Express this year and they're very comfy. Okay, girls, here we go. Comfy. We've got the Sky Screamer. Now, like I said just before, there was reports that this was going at the end of uh, 2021. Uh, it stayed for 2022 and myself and Theo did it last year. And I thought it was going to be his final season. The ropes went and it's come back. It's very shiny. So I think this has got a few more years in it yet because they've got new seats. That the whole thing looks new, and they've got a new cab for it as well. And imagine new rope as well. So yeah, the skyscraper is still here. And like I said about height, this is the surprise. It has increased. It was quite low last year. They've increased it to 1.15, 1.14. It did used to be, was it down here? Yeah, it used to be a bit lower. They've increased the height a little bit. But, yeah, I think it, no, I think it's lower than that. But, but you, like, you know how small Theo is. Look how far over it is now. It's probably one of the only ones in the UK you can do at such a young age. You could probably do that at the age of four or five, maybe, if you've got a tall five-year-old. Five-year-old doing that, could you imagine? Yeah, that was last time though. But you did it last year when you were seven. And that's a big achievement. Do check out that video. I'll put the uh, link in the description below. In fact, it might appear up here. If you've got the app. That was like a five minute video. Yeah, it was. I enjoyed um, editing that. It's quite fun. And then, to box this tour off, we've got the same ride that's been here for about 10 years. It's the crazy coaster. What they always saying is the best ride. However, is it better than a log flume? What? Is it better than the log flume? Uh -uh. Now, did you know the log flume used to be on the end of the pier? I don't think you were. It's on the side. Yeah, but it used to be on the end of the pier. Oh. Um, ah, so see what I mean? Theo doesn't remember that. So yes, the log flume used to be here. And on a day like today, it's the perfect ride to be on here. However, how how much it costs to run a log flume is a lot more than this, I would imagine. Um, but having a coaster on the end of the pier, as you see in the POV very shortly, is a very daunting experience and quite good. Huh? Four for a Yeah, you're eager, aren't you? You just want to get on this coaster. Yeah. I tell you, the first ride's going to be this. <laughs> but yeah, you'll see in a moment. And that is tour complete. Oh. We've got, we've got these. 
lockdowns and things. I'm just going to show you this before we go on the coaster because the coaster is going to be the first ride. Firstly, let me show you the view. Oh, sorry, this is going to pass. Well, here's the view of Blackpool. This is my hometown. And there is Central Pier. We're going to be going over there later today. So that'll be another vlog you can check out a little bit later as well. And the best part of South Pier, you can walk. When tide's in, it's worse. You can walk all the way to the end of this pier. You can walk to the end of Central as well, but the daunting part of it is this. And I started the vlog at the end of here last year. Literally, yes. <laughs> Literally, look at this. Yeah, it's quite scary. When the tide's in, uh, yeah, it can be a bit scary. But when the tide's out, it's not too bad. Yes, the end of the pier is here. You can walk to the end of here. So don't be scared to walk back here. It is a public area. Well, I say public, it's open to the public. Uh, so you can come to here. One thing I'd suggest you don't do though is get your phone out because if you drop your phone, it's landing down there. I would imagine. My phone is in my pocket. <laughs> anyway, that is tour complete. That is what's on South Pier here for 2023. We're going to take you on some rides and show you what the rides are like here because the rides are quite good here. And we're going to start with this, of course, Theo's favourite ride. And I'll tell you, it's going to be ride of the day for Theo on here already. It's the one and only Crazy Coaster. whilst we're on here and you see the POV, do take note of the uh, views that you get from up here. Look at that edging. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? unlocked. Let's go spinning. Ooh. Hopefully we can catch a good one here. There's just no way you can manipulate one of these. It either spins or it doesn't. Now we should get some good spins here. Or not. <laughs> well, we're gonna go backwards though, T. Oh, here we go. We've got a spin here. Hey! Air time! Whoa! <laughs> I like going backwards though. <laughs> Wait! Here we go. Crazy coaster. Definitely crazy. Crazy coaster for a crazy coaster ride. Was it crazy? Marks out of 10. What? Marks out of 10. 1,000 million. 1,000 million. Is that the Theo rating you're going to give it? We got a Theo rating. 1,000 million. That's, that's quite a lot. Like I say, it's been on there quite a long time. Quite um, a daunting, as you will have seen, especially going over the first top. 
and doing the first corner, you just can't see anything. It's so funny. Going at night's good as well. When you come, uh, if you want a really good experience of the pier, I do recommend nighttime more than the daytime. I don't do it very often at night. I have done nighttime before, but I have noticed last year when I did it, this year, sorry, last year, the daytime was quite good. Right, we're gonna do the latest ride on the piers, and it's this. This is Music Express. I keep calling it Music Express. It's actually called Rock and Roll. Here we go. Looking forward to this. Right, jukebox. Right, here we go. I'm going to put my glasses on for this one. This is rock and roll. Theo's going to try. No, maybe not. <laughs> it's underneath the chair. Wow, this is smooth already. Wow. Oh, wow. Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Oh this is so fast! <laughs> I can't get my arms up! <laughs> I'm struggling! Oh I need to reposition myself, I wasn't expecting this! <laughs> On my life! <laughs> I was expecting. And he's got like um, a ghost train siren on here as well. I'm going to hold on to the back rail bar this time. Okay, we're going to go to the seat on the back of the air. The back of the air, come on. Hey, I'm not putting my arm up. Gotta hold on. <laughs> Whoa! Woo! Oh, those airtime bumps on this. Yeah, go on then. Come on, buddy girl. Somebody scream! I got that. What? Oh, no, I think that's it, mate. Oh, you're right. Come on, 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 I thought he went forwards and backwards, that was it. He goes forwards again. Oh, I don't know, I've not watched it. I'm enjoying this more than I expected to. Again? So, this 
you know he did this? Get ready, let me see those arms in the air. How do you know he does this? Now, when are you in my nana and No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a ride cycle you got, Come on, this. Come on, girls, wave and shake it. You're not going to break it. Come on. Get your hands up, T. <laughs> yeah, he's trying. Brilliant cycle they've got for this. Okay, riders, please stay seated till the ride has come to a complete stop. Thank you for riding. Enjoy the rest of the day. Wow. That was amazing. And I can't even compare it to MDs because it was totally different. It's, it's got the same path and the same hills and the same placement. I just think the cars are slightly different, but the cars are the same. But that definitely went a lot faster than one that MED did. Um, how was your thought on that? Good. Yeah. Which one do you prefer, this one or the one at MED? This one. Yeah, there's, I think, currently there's two in the UK and there's gonna be a third, I think. And the, and the third one is going to Great Yarmouth. There might be another one down south. So I'm not very fully aware if there is another one. You should have these things up the way. Now, that might be what the difference is because the one in M&Ds is a caterpillar. So the caterpillar has the um, covers and the covers go over. But this doesn't have any evidence of it. Maybe it does and it's under there and they've, and they've got fabricated so you can't see it but the um the m and d ones have got the old bars where you can see the um the covers coming over there's no evidence of that so maybe it's slightly different doesn't it look the part though now if you watch my central pier vlog from last year or the one that i'm going to be doing this year they've got a matterhorn on central pier called flying bob and the flying bob looks absolutely amazing I have to say to the peer group, they've put so much money into the peers recently. Well played, because that is absolutely amazing. It looks amazing. Look at that. Obviously, with the weather that they get on here, it's going to be tough to keep it the condition that it's in now, granted. Uh, but Flying Bob looks absolutely amazing. And you'll see that in the vlog later. Which is a different vlog. I can advertise Central Pier because... Um, it's the same guys, the same company. So go to either the piers. Right, we've got. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's the next ride? Now, this is one of my favourite waltzer rides. Okay, I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that this is gonna be living up to expectations as previous years that I've done this. I'm confident it will, and we're about to find out. Is it still one of the best waltzes? Yeah, I think so. Let's find out. Right, here we go. I've got high expectations for this. As always. Here we get some leaders. Let's get some space in this one. Here we go. We are going the wrong way though. Let's try and get this going. 
That's it. Keep it going. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow. That's the one. in the car. Love it. Okay, right, we are going to sell you now. Now, are we ready for the next one? They've been flawless. That has always been one of my favourite waltzes. Without a doubt. You just can't beat it. I've never had a bad ride on that. Never. The hills obviously help. Because um, they're steep. And they send it quite fast. Steep hills. Fast ride. Amazing. One more ride to show you. One more ride to take you on. And you can't come to South Pier and not do break dance. With the way the rides have been running so far on here, it's another high expectation ride. Neil, was this your this was your first break dance, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. You, you did, then you did the other one at uh, Ocean Beach when it was there, didn't you? No, not Ocean Beach. No, this one was your first one, and then you did Ocean Beaches a year later. Is that right? Then Yeah, that's Ocean Beach. Just be aware as well, 
they're very strict about filming and they're very strict about mobile phones on rides here. It's the way it should be if I'm honest with you. Now, of course I've done live streams on here which is the same as using your mobile phone. I was granted permission to do that. That's the difference. So just be aware if you're here, you do go to some places and you see people taking selfies on rides. You don't allow it. Health and safety. Especially on this. I've, I've been watching this, especially whilst I've been filming this. They're not rising, and that's good. Because when it rises, I don't think it's as good, in my opinion. And also take note of what he's saying, if you've got a few tokens left over and you're not planning on doing another ride, stay on it for another ride for two tokens. Or two tickets. Also, they play different music at different times of day on here. They're playing the right music today. But I've had some music that's been a little bit like old school. And the genre changes every time I come on here. We're gonna go and break dance.
Whoa. Right, should we go one more time? If you want to go one more time, let me see those hands in the air. Everybody, come on, put them up, put them up. Here we go. <laughs> Everyone's got their hands up apart from me. <laughs> what are the chances? You know, let's sing along. Oh, whip! which was a break dance called uh, Dr Pepper back in the 90s and it was a break dance I don't know if it's the same one I've, I've said this before and I was told it's not the same one but that completes the vlog here if you're in Blackpool a really good place to go to is this pier that for four tickets is an absolute bargain because you, you it is so good. It's just it's hard to it's hard to explain. A good one it. Of course there is a couple of rides we didn't do. We haven't done the dodgems. Uh, there's not really many people. We could do a dodge and battle, but we're not gonna do one here. Uh, and of 
course cliffhanger we did do cliffhanger last year it's just recently come back it's been off the pier um, to get a bit of maintenance ready for the summer it's just returned literally a week ago and if you're wondering how they get the rise off the pier well it's quite interesting actually because they have to wait for the tide to be out then the Sedgwick group have their own tractors and trucks and a crane and the crane lift it off the pier and then vice versa to get the rides on. Obviously when they when they put the we, uh, the um, waltzer onto Central a couple of years ago they did exactly the same format. I'm going to give you a double whammy of um, big rides and we're going to see the sky, sky, sky screamer go. But yeah definitely if you're able to get on this pier do I do rate this pier. This is more of the adrenaline pumping rides on here. Um, I, my preference over Central, sorry Central, but this is my preference. And you can see why, it, it's just so good. Now of course they do have the additional two rides, you've just seen the Sky Coaster go. But this is the Sky Screamer. Of course, like I say, if you want to see this in action as an on-ride POV of a seven-year-old doing this, you can check out our video from last year of this. Um, they do film for you, but they do charge you for it. Uh, just something to be aware of. Personally, I think this is going to stay. You, uh, you liked that last year, didn't you? Would you do that again? What? That again. Uh, we're finishing the vlog, okay? I'll do it by myself. Okay, whatever. Uh, Theo, how was uh, South Pier for you? Me. Amazing. Uh, which was your favourite ride? Great dance. Not, not this, no. All right, that's a surprise. Why, um, why is Great Dance beaten uh, Crazy uh, Coast, Crazy Coaster? Look at it, more faster and more spinnier. Okay, I'll take that. Ride of the day for me. Really hard to choose. I've got two actually. I chose this as well. That was really good. I enjoyed that. But I enjoyed the waltz and the break dance as well. Really hard to choose. If you can get on all the rides, they're really good. Anyway, it's the end of the vlog. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Completely free to do so by hitting the subscribe button just below. Follow us on our social media platforms: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We'll share some photos on Facebook of this pier and the other pier as well. Make sure you do look out for our vlog for Central Pier that will be coming probably after this one. What are you doing? What is that? It's also nice to come on here. They have got a new sports bar as you come on. Uh, so when you come on South Pier, they used to have loads of game stalls. They've now gone. Uh, it's now a sports bar and the gin bar is still here as well, which did replace Laughing Donkey. So there's two bars on here now. So I'm not too sure if the uh, sports one is, well, sports bar, isn't it? I'd imagine it's a bit more family entertainment -y. Maybe. Anyway, we'll see you in the next vlog, won't we? We'll see you in the next vlog. Take care. Have a great week. Bye from me. And bye from Theo. See you in the next vlog, guys. <laughs>